Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys some more SSF Righteous Fire updates and more so show you the new character I have made since it has been so requested for I can't even tell you how long and I always neglect by not playing it. So we dinged 100 on the Righteous Fire Juggernaut with the Atlas strategy of basically spamming maps on Grand Design. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the character and I'm actually potentially interested in maybe tackling Ubers. The problem is, not really a problem, but with my Lore Weave Eternal Damnation setup, I'm not able to pivot into a new shield I'm working on. So the reason why this character is, oh I'm lagging, the reason this character is missing a lot of gear is because the Elementalist that I made is going to try to farm a Brass Dome, and with that Brass Dome I can pivot into utilizing this new shield. Now before people are going to ask why not a Saffles frame, the reasoning is when you're fighting Ubers, at least the way I want to, I want to greed as much damage as possible. Doing the fight faster will make the fight feel better. So what I'm going to be doing with this shield is using, um, I believe it is prefixes cannot be changed, then harvest augment fire, which guarantees plus one fire. Uh, and then I craft life and I can work on my suffixes. Got a really lucky 2 max all res fracture. So the elementalist is using the um, lore weave eternal damnation. I'm also sharing my um, uh, immortal flesh because it has 20% fertile catalyst. And then one of my other rings that I need to replace on this character anyway because uh, my chaos res. Well, I guess not with that ring, but my chaos res is way too high. So let's go jump on that character. And that is this character that you see here. Now, before you get started on a lot of stuff, I just want to state that this character does not have very good single target. I'm probably the only person in Ray class who made an elementalist who cannot really do a lot of damage. Um, the reasoning for that is my weapon is not very good. I don't have an essence of horror helm. Uh, I will not, I don't really plan on using an essence of horror helm on this character. It's meant to be a fast mapper, which actually means I'm probably not going to use fire trap. I think I'm actually going to explore uh, Flame Blast slash Evolve Flame Blast or Scorching Ray, and for two reasons. Number one, with Flame Blast, I have a 100% chance to ignite, and I guarantee shock. Um, number two, um, I get infused channeling, so that's another reason to use Scorching Ray. So, very excited for that. We'll talk about that in another video. For now, I'm going to go through a quick map for you guys. So, I made this character yesterday, 9 hour stream, right? We're level 89. Uh, ironically, no deaths. Characters got some defensive layers. Uh, we will showcase them in just a sec. I'm going to go run a Toxic Sewers for you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and bump that in. Before we get started, uh, I do want to say that you might want to grab your sunglasses. It's going to get a little bright in here. Oh, I literally took my aura or my fire trap off. There we go. I'm pretty sure I can even run conk effect, judging by how big my AOE is. I need more mana. It's actually cool. I didn't know this, but uh, this build is even exploding the beyond mobs because there's like actual beyond from here. Uh, sure. That one alone for now. See, a single target is non-existent on this character right now. Like I said, all my damage at the moment is coming from my uh, Righteous Fire. I have a lot of crafted gear for this character, like I crafted it myself, obviously, in SSF, but I may have to potentially pivot into crafting more gear, depending on how far I want to, like, push this character, I guess you could say, for mapping. And we'll talk about that after the map when I show you guys the gear I'm talking about. Okay.
I don't know if I want to take like bonus damage here because I don't know how tanky this character is. Although, actually, I forgot I have Lore Weave, Eternal Damnation, so I should actually be able to handle bonus Ellie mods. It's reduced by like 40%. Last pack. Very nice. Wait, really? That's not the last pack? How are there 50 mobs remaining? Oh, it's the late influence spawn, that's why. It's rude. Okay, and that's pretty much the character. Uh, so before people are going to ask how I leveled up, you could literally level with my leveling guide. I leveled with Spark because I just wanted to try something new. I pretty much followed this exact tree I'm using. I just plugged in Ellie nodes. So like for Spark, you could take like Arcanus Dominion with uh, Lightning Walker... And then you can take like crackling speed and if you want to be overkill you can take mental rapidity and on a four link you're done it's, it's kind of nutty right so to talk about this character i'm going to explain a little bit of the passive tree then i'm going to go into the gear so let's get started um reasoning for elementalist a couple of reasons number one aoe number two aoe um so heart of destruction pretty sick for the aoe also gives you a little bit of actually a lot of single target when you like bump into your map boss uh so that's a big part of it Mastermind of Discord carries this build's damage. It's probably like 25% of my damage. Between Mastermind and Discord and Heart of Destruction, it's literally like 80% of my total damage. And that's because the minus res is huge for RF. In general, for damage over time builds, lowering targets res is one of your biggest sources of multipliers. And then the 30% more Ellie is a gem socket on both of them, right? That 60% AoE, though, applies to the Explode, which is part of what's so nice about this. Uh, Shaper of Flames makes it so I have I don't have to get any chance to ignite, and if I convert to fire, the prolif is very, very satisfying. Uh, satisfying enough that it's killing beyond mobs, which is very, very nice. Um, Shaper of Storms gives explode damage, but mo mainly increases my single target. But it is also good for the explode, but I, I don't really have lightning prolif. You could absolutely do something with golems, but if you guys know anything about me, I hate golems, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> Uh, so I immediately branched out of Ellie. I would like to go through somewhere here to get AoE, but it's just not very point efficient. Um, came through. I was also thinking of coming down through here. If you don't have, like, enough Chaos Res, you can go Asylum. But I plan on taking Heart of Flame and Breath of Flames. So I decided to stay up here. Uh, came through. Acrimony, get your Dex node. This character is near Block Cap and Spell Block Cap. With Arcane Guarding, Sanctuary, the Mastery, and Glancing Blows. The cluster jewel I have, um, the large one is mainly just Prismatic Heart for res. Um, the two mediums, I have an Agent of Destruction, which is not really the big part here. The big part is Heraldry, which is giving us Fire Exposure. The Heraldry Fire Exposure here stacks with the Elementalist. So basically, walking by a target, they instantly have minus 35 Fire Res. Um, this is mainly to buff our single target. I just have a Corrupted Blood Immune Jewel here. Coming across, I've got a Fan the Flames. This part is kind of required to get your prolif if you manage to get this on a relic that's awesome um just another jewel here for stats i have to take this dex note or else i can't use awaken swift affliction um yep fire mastery auras purity uh, i have 10 percent effect on for determination 15 ellie res on mastery i would love to switch this to increased effect of non-damaging ailments but i don't have the res yet swing through grab the templar section came down Glancing Blows, Block. Uh, I don't actually need Tireless, but I want the Life. Um, key component here, 40% Physical Converted to Fire. Long the Avatar of Fire is 90% Conversion. Then Swing Across, another Jewel, a lot of res. Um, Constitution, Vitality Mastery. And then one of the big ones here is Unnatural Instinct. You don't need to use this. It's the icing on the cake, though. Uh, huge, 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 because it gives so much AoE to your Explode, along with giving a bunch of other stats. Um, very, very nice. But not needed. You could definitely play the build without it. Alright, with that being said, let's talk about the gear. Using some random shit weapon from my stash that my Juggernaut got while leveling, I desperately need to craft myself a new weapon. Here I've got Blood Rage, Tempest Shield, and Vitality. I'm going to flash open my stats here. You can see my 
chance to block attack and spell. I actually think I'm just gonna run a Rumi's Concoction if I can find one, and that will block me, or like block cap me. Um, helmet. So, crafted this helmet. I'm trying to craft a new helmet because my prefixes got screwed up on Availed Chaos, uh, and I don't have any Elder Chanels. So, I used Loathing Essence for Mono Reservation Efficiency. I was spamming until I got Life Regen, and then I was gonna work on my prefixes. The reason I need this is to fit in the Herald of Ash that my build is normally running. Um, and because Arrogance, I don't have Arrogance Vitality, I have regular Vitality. So it's a bit harder to fit in. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the helmet. And then it's got double reservation efficiency from Eater. I'm thinking of potentially dropping the reservation efficiency, getting a little bit more reservation, and then crafting on a Warlord base for minus fire res to nearby enemies, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, this has my Enlightened, Malevolence, Herald, and Determ. Over here is my shield that we crafted. Sad it's not on a good base for block, but the stats are incredible. Uh, it's got like 600 armor, 5% life on block, T1 cold res, and then I exalted life gain on block as well, which is very nice considering I don't have that much HP. So this shield carries my defenses against multi hits. Uh, next up, we got the ring from the jug that you guys know well. Uh, I've got the ring that we crafted for flam on hit. Uh, this was reforge caster with harvest. Um, and then basically just spamming it till we got good res. And then I did a combination of like suffix to prefix, but was not really worth it. Honestly, just harvest spam reforge caster for a ring like this. The eternal damnation lore weave that you guys know. Uh, the links haven't changed, so I have an unqualified burn damage, a 20 RF, awaken swift affliction 5, efficacy, uh, life tap, elemental focus. I could drop efficacy for conk effect. I just have to see if I like it. Assonance gentle touch, which is how everything kind of starts. Uh, we override the temporal chains on the Assonance Gentle Touch, the uh, the um, the uh, the flammability on hit on this ring. Immortal Flesh that you guys are aware of, and the boots. Oh boy, these boots are a pain in the ass to craft. So these boots were spammed with Dex Essence, and then I used two Divines to try to pull the Dex up, so I could save a skill point. Did not happen. It just went up by one each time. So Fracture Chaos Res Dex uh, spammed with Dex Essences. Got the life regen roll, and then had to spend six divines for the prefixes, which was essentially suffixes cannot be changed to veiled chaos, and then it kept hitting movement speed. You don't want to hit movement speed because you have a really high chance of unveiling movement speed. That's how we got the movement speed plus onslaught on kill. Uh, and that's pretty much the character in terms of gear. The flasks are really kind of whatever you want. I have like armor, reduced effective curse, life regen, Ellie res bonus, and attack speed. I'd like movement speed there, but I don't really have it. And then, like I was saying before, I plan on dropping my Fire Trap setup, and I want to explore a Flame Blast slash Vol Flame Blast setup slash um, Scorching Ray for Infusion. Um, so I'm pretty curious on how those are going to work, because I don't really need to use them often. It's quite literally just for the map boss or like a tanky essence, so I think I could definitely try getting away with something like that. And because of the Unnatural Instinct, I do get 9% cast speed. Is it 9 or is it 12 from another node? No, I get 9% cast speed from right here. Um, so that just makes it feel a little bit better, especially when coupled with your frenzy charges, you get extra cast speed. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Anyway, I'm going to go blast away with this character and enjoy my time leveling while I try to find some gear for the jug. So going to catch you guys all later. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you're confused at all on my website, I do have uh, a section for explode. And in my channel on Twitch, if you use the explode command, it will explain kind of the basics of how I set up Explode. There's always different ways to play it. I would say Assonance is the more entry version. You have like Explodey Chest, which is hard to set up. It's not hard to set up, but you're giving up one of your biggest sources of survivability, which I don't really like doing. And then you have Explodey Weapon, which is extremely expensive and also a bit inconsistent because the Explode percentage is not super high. So I'm just a fan of Assonance. I'd say the best one overall is Oriath's End because you could save so many points on the tree you like don't necessarily need to take avatar of fire you don't need to take fire conversion you just literally take oriath's end and you just blast um but yeah that's pretty much about it thanks for watching everybody i'll catch you guys all later don't forget if you like the video you can uh oh i just screwed up my outro <laughs> you can like share and subscribe and you can catch me streaming live every time at twitch.tv slash box see you guys all tomorrow